What's up my friends? Today we're going to talk about my five tips for staying lean year round. So um, the first one is probably what's helped me stay the most lean is weight training. Building my muscles and changing my body composition has solely been down to lifting weights. The more muscle I build, the more fat I burn today today. This is just a way that I like to train. I appreciate that it's not for everyone, but I'm just sharing my experience. And I definitely know that I wasn't as lean doing hours and hours, like 35 hours plus of cardio, as I am doing however many hours, definitely less than that, of weight training. So I'd say that's what's kept me the most lean, is doing all of the weight training incorporating compound movements all the time and just going as heavy as possible always pushing myself and using a variety of different approaches so not just doing hypertrophy based training so in the 8 to 12 rep range but also go really ranging from the 1 to 12 and sometimes even 15 um, rep range the second thing I'd say that helps me stay lean year round is eating well so you guys see what I eat in my What I Eat In Every Day videos. Um, a lot of my foods are whole foods. So whole foods just mean that it's less processed. It just means that I feel a lot more full after them than processed foods because my body spends a lot longer digesting those foods than processed foods. And also I'd say staying lean doesn't mean that you have to restrict or eat less. In fact, I try to eat as much as possible of low impact foods, so vegetables, fruits, certain carbohydrates that are lower in calories. I will load up on vegetables so I have really, really big plates full and that just means that I'm eating a lot of volume but not so many calories. I still have about 2,300 a day, if, even if I'm cutting, so that's a really important thing that helps me stay lean. Try and find what macros work for you. So at the moment, my macros are about uh, 300 carb, 130 to 150 grams of protein, and 40 grams of fat. I work really well off high carb diet, um, because a lot of my training is um, very intense, and I also like eating a high volume of food, so I eat a lot of carbohydrates. Um, but it really depends who you are. It's not a one size fits all. You really have to work, see what works for you, make sure your protein stays relatively high, but for the rest of it, see what ratios work for you. Some people work really well on high fat diets, especially if they're doing lower impact sports. But I'd say if you're doing rigorous training, then you do want to consider eating a lot of carbohydrates. It's really something that you guys should just trial and error, see if it works for you for, a, for like four weeks. If it doesn't, try something else, try altering like that carb to fat ratio and see how it goes for you. But you won't find it out straight away, you really do have to experiment. And if you do find it out straight away and it's working for you then that's really good because um, you saved yourself some time. But it's good just to experiment and understand what your body responds best to. The third thing I'd say that really, really helps me stay lean is keeping everything varied. So it's really easy to get bored, I think. I, I don't know about you, but for me, if I'm doing the same thing over and over again, eating the same thing over and over again, I get bored and I kind of want to break and I want to change something up. Making sure that I have a varied schedule um, in terms of training, so I'm always mixing it up. I've recently just started gymnastics, which I love, um, but previously I've done like athletics and triathlon, you guys know that. And in terms of nutrition, I think from like what you see in my What I Eat In A Day videos, I show quite a lot of different recipes. So yeah, keep your training and your nutrition nice and varied so that you don't get bored and you feel excited every single time that you train. The fourth point is applying the 80-20 principle. So I do this for both nutrition and training. So when I'm eating, I eat 80% of the time whole foods, um, clean foods, lots of fruits and vegetables, good carbs. Um, but then 20% of the time I'll have, I'll have some like 
cheat food or whatever you want to call it. A day to day, I say I eat like mainly whole foods, um, but then I will allow myself some cheat days. You guys know that, and that's just my way of applying my 80 20 rule. But of course, if you guys prefer just having a cheat meal, that's absolutely fine. See what works for you, but do integrate some form of flexibility in your nutrition and also in your training. So if you know that you train 80% of the time, you're really hitting your sessions. If you're not feeling up for it for, for a particular session or you're like, oh, you know what? I have something to do or I know that a lot of you have exams at the moment. If you've been training the whole year, Taking a two weeks off, a month off but to focus on your exams is not a bad thing and it's not going to make a difference in the long run. So do allow yourself some flexibility. It really helps with keeping like a good relationship with food and training consistently throughout your lifestyle. The fifth one, which is the last one, is sleep and trying to control stress. So sleep plays a huge part in both recovery, which is ultimately what helps you train. So if you're not sleeping enough, you're not gonna be training well enough. So you're not gonna, so as a result, you won't be building enough muscle to keep burning the fat. So that's one thing to consider. But the other one is, I don't know about you, but if I don't sleep, I find it really hard to deal with things. Like even small things stress me out so much. Like not not having written an email or something very very minor it really stresses me out if I don't sleep um, so sleep plays a really important part in in recovery and basically how you deal with things it also has a huge impact on your hormone system so one of the hormones that it can impact are your hunger hormones so if you reduce your hours of sleep you will decrease your leptin levels. Leptin is the hormone that makes you feel full. If you don't sleep enough, ghrelin will increase, and ghrelin is a hormone that make, that stimulates you to feel hungry. So, as well as not feeling full, you're also gonna be feeling more hungry, and as a consequence, you'll end up eating more, even though your body doesn't necessarily need it, it's just because you haven't had enough sleep. The other thing that it controls is cortisol. I mean, there are so, so many hormones that play a part in this, so I'm really just picking at the surface. But cortisol is considered as your stress hormone. In small bursts, it's very, very good. But if it's elevated for a long period of time, and this can be due to lack of sleep and also stress, um, then it can actually react with other hormones and cause you to store fat. Um, and also makes you like retain more water and stuff like that. So it's really important for you guys to sleep and to try and manage your stress levels. So those are my five top tips. And then one last thing to keep you on your way is to realize that we are all human. We have bodies that fluctuate all the time. That's the beauty of being a human. That's the beauty of being alive. We are always changing. So even though this is these are kind of the top tips that I use to stay lean I appreciate that the way I look fluctuates all the time some days I'm not lean it really really depends um, I don't try and write down the conditions that make me like super lean I just go by how it is I'm very accepting of that and I don't look at my progress every single day I kind of look at it over the year is my strength improving am I feeling happier and together all of these things have really worked for me so there you go that's why I thought I'd share it with you so I've also shown like a, a physique update so you guys can see what I look like at the moment um, but like I said it always changes sometimes I look leaner sometimes I don't and um, this is just what I look like on the 10th of May 2017 so thank you so much if you liked it please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more videos hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys very soon bye